What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper here today, bringing you guys another video. Today we are on Vanguard once again. This is going to be my final video before the uh, full game releases in November. So the beta just ended, I believe it just closed, or is about to close in about 5 minutes of recording this video. So I got all the play, of as, as far as play gameplay that I could. I have tons and tons of clips. There are going to be clips towards the end, some of my best kills. I went on Untouchable where I, had 15, I went 15-0 and 0 without being killed yet. Just some great kills. I just had a lot of fun with this beta, and it was nothing that I expected. So I, I really didn't give it the benefit of the doubt that I should have. But um, before we continue, guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump into the rest of this video. So this video is me covering what my final thoughts are on ba uh, the Vanguard after um, beta and everything like that. So... Uh, again, going into it, I didn't think much of... So, Cold War, uh, I'm not saying Cold War was bad, but I was not a big fan of Cold War. So, when Vanguard, you know, we got the uh, first hints of it coming out and everything, I was like, okay, so this is probably going to be the same thing. I probably won't even get it. So, anyways, I pre-ordered it, because I, I know you guys wanted to see the video, especially on the HP Pavilion. Went ahead and did that, and then I was just amazed, because even just playing on the laptop is when I first played it. I was just amazed of how how well I actually liked it. I was really on the fence, but it just, it has the exact same kind of mechanics and basically the same engine as Modern Warfare, but with kind of like a World at War, which was one of my all-time favorites when Zombies first came out um, on there. So it's basically, it, to me, Vanguard is like a mix of Call of Duty World at War and Modern Warfare, how it is now, and I just, I just, I love it. I mean, so far, as as far as the multiplayer game goes, I'm really, really psyched about it, and especially the full game coming out. And I'm really psyched to see what they're going to do with, you know, obviously, everything to do with the multiplayer and everything like that. Um, I will do some campaign videos if you guys want to see that. I'm not a big campaign person, but for World at War, I was, so this may be another one contender to me jump on the campaign, do some videos for you guys on that. That being said, multiplayer is what I'm most in, uh, you know enthused about. And again, guys, I just I didn't give it the benefit of the doubt that I should have because it's just it's phenomenal. I mean, I'm I love the graphics, I love the gameplay, I love the game style. In in the old kind of World at War, uh, you know, kind of uh, they're the doing with it. It's just I I love it. I love it. I love playing on it. it. It brings me back to my old days when we would play private matches in World at War and just go free for all. And here we are with Team Deathmatch Search and all that, that you can just jump in and play. And I'm amazed, guys. I am really actually blown away of how well I really enjoyed this game, especially just for the beta. So if I'm already enjoying it this much, I can't imagine what it's going to be like when I get the, when the full game comes out. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or comments, want to see some more videos on the HP Pavilion, I will be doing full game tests on the HP Pavilion when it comes out in November. I believe it's November 5th. Um, they may change the date or move the date. Who knows? That being said, guys, you will see more of Vanguard streaming as well. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. That's it for the intel.